All right, boys and girls, how's it going? It is Monday, the 22nd of October, 2018, and you're watching CopTalk.tv. Right. How's it going, guys? Did you have a good weekend? Yes? What did you do? Uh, anything exciting? I didn't do anything exciting. Uh, far from it. I uh, I just, just chilled out, you know what I mean? But the football was back, and that's the most important thing. Um, listen, if you like my content and you like you know my videos and my podcasts and things like that, have a look on iTunes and any podcast app for the Three Pundits podcast. The Three Pundits. Uh, we do a couple of shows each week on FM radio. We've got a sports show, a current affair show, which you might like that. It's a bit alternative, do you know what I mean? And I get stuck into them both. So the three pundits, also on Twitter and Facebook, all right? Uh, so anyway, guys, I hope you're okay. Uh, I didn't enjoy the game at the weekend. Uh, I don't think that'll come as a surprise to you. Um, do you know what? I hate playing at their ground at Uddersfield. It's like... Do, do, do. It's so like, you know, like the atmosphere is terrible, isn't it? You know, I don't like it at all. And um, it was just boring. Do you know what I mean? It was boring, but we got the result. And that's the most important thing, guys. And if you look at the Premier League table, I've got it here in front of me. You know, we're still joint top with City on 23 points. And we're unbeaten, of course. Man City, Liverpool, Chelsea lost zero um, I'd be a bit wary of uh, Tottenham as well. I mean, all right, we're on 23 with Man City. You've got Chelsea and Tottenham on 21. You've got Arsenal on 18 with a game in hand. Uh, but I think that Tottenham haven't been playing pretty either. And they, you know, out, they're just quiet. And the pressure is off Tottenham uh, as a result of that. Everyone's talking about City, everyone's talking about Liverpool, but maybe not Liverpool so much. I mean, I'll be honest with you, I don't feel as confident as I did going into this season. Um, as you know, like now, and I'm sure you maybe feel like that. And I keep looking at it and thinking, oh god, you know. I mean, look at the goal difference. I mean, Man City have scored. Uh, is that a goal difference uh, of plus ten on us? Uh, so their goal difference is plus twenty three. We we're plus thirteen with Chelsea, and um, you know we had Mo Salah score obviously the weekend, which is very important, guys, for him, not just us, but for him because we need him to get his uh, his confidence back. So. Uh, there was an article on coptalk.com uh, that was written prior to that game. Uh, if you go to coptalk.com, the front page, there's an article that there at the moment that says, is the form of our current front three, th 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 front three a concern? Now, if it's not there when you look, because uh, the front page has been updated by the time you watch this video, just hover over opinion, go down to fan opinion, and then Naveen Vinod, all right? Uh, he's a Liverpool fan. Uh, and he contributes some articles, and he was talking about, um, you know, is there something, you know, wrong in terms of, um, how can I explain, I don't want to misquote him, you know, like, he thinks that the the, the not playing, like, maybe don't, uh, how can I, he thinks there's something off, basically, between them all, but I don't know, the, um, the anyway, I'm not going to waffle on about it, because it's past, it's past tense now, it's history, I'd much rather look to the future. Do you know what I'm saying, guys? And um, But I wanted to put a video up to see if you wanted to throw any uh, thoughts out there um, about the game. Uh, anything significant that you'd like to uh, to raise with me. Uh, obviously, um, you know, what do you think about the likes of uh, Adam Lallana, um, you know, being involved and how did you think he did? Uh, I'm just looking here at the, uh, at the team. Uh, lineup just re refreshing my memory really um, obviously Lalana's in there uh, was replaced by Fabino uh, with the last 20 minutes um, but yeah what did you think of um, of Lalana I'd particularly like to know what you thought about him to be honest uh, the others are, are self-explanatory the, the, the reason I ask is obviously because he hasn't been involved and a lot of people keep saying oh, he's done you know he's no good you can't count on him and stuff like that so all right, guys, um, I am going to be making some more videos today uh, when I find something to talk about. I've just got to the office. I just wanted to throw this one online straight away. Uh, I'm still on with the lifestyle change thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, I've, not, I've lost nearly five stone now. I'm not far off five stone, only a few pounds, if that, uh, since May. You know, and um, the benefits uh, you know, are certainly um, coming through. Um, I cringe when I look back at some of my like first videos on here, but and I think I deleted them, and I think, 
Now you are who you are, do you know what I mean? And uh, that's that. But uh, I've still got a long way to go. You know, I've still got a long way to go and a lot of things that I want to do. But it's so nice that you know people are saying nice things to me and stuff like that. I mean, what I mean by that is people didn't used to say awful things to me. Do you know what I mean? Um, what I mean by that is it's nice that people are saying that, you know, they're proud of me and shit like that. Especially when you guys say it. Because you obviously see this ugly mush all the time, don't you? Um, staring at you. So I'm, I'm, I'm really chuffed with how that's gone. Um, yeah. That's it. I, I won't say anymore. There's other people are doing it as well, you know that I know, and and they've done well. And um, I would I would say around forty or fifty people have been messaging me since May that have been watching my progress because I tweet a lot about it a lot. At Duncan Oldham on Twitter, you know, on Facebook Dunk Oldham D U N K Oldham and Instagram at Duncan Oldham, and um, I put a lot of stuff on there, and people are like, "Wow, you've inspired me to get my ass into gear." So that's that's good, you know what I mean? That's that's why I put stuff out, to be honest. But this is just a little convo with you. I just wanted to say, look, guys, it's you know I'm doing all right. Do you know what I mean? So anyway, listen, um, I'll get off. Let me know your thoughts about the Uddersfield game, please. I'll see what else I can bring to the table today. Uh, and don't forget to look on iTunes or any podcast app and Facebook and Twitter for the Three Pundits. All right, it's me and two of my boys, man. You know, two of my friends, and um, uh, they're very old school. And like I say, we do these shows on FM radio, local radio station here, Radio One, uh, and we also go out to a bar on a Monday evening and uh, and do a live broadcast on Facebook. So it'll be on tonight. But I'm not a fan of that one myself. Um, I do think the Thursday night shows fantastic because that's all about current affairs. Uh, you, you know what I mean? So I get stuck into that big time. Uh, and we do, of course, have the uh, Saturday Sports Show. But sometimes that podcast, I think, wow, on Monday, would you want to listen to Saturday's podcast about the weekends? I don't know. Other topics do come up. Um, but I think the Thursday night one, maybe the Monday night one's all right. I don't know. That's for you guys to decide. So uh, the three pundits, if you want to listen to that podcast, I'd love your support. You know you know that. Right then, guys. So I'm going to go, and I'm literally going to stop record. I'm going to upload this video. And while it's doing that, I'm going to be recording another one about something else that I can bring to your attention. I mean, there's got to be something to talk about. 